All right, this, uh, this one is about Tiber Hite. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Um, when I was at Clearview, they were hell-bent on putting drugs in me, doing everything that they could to prevent me from speaking to the police. I tried to tear their phone off the wall for good reason. What they were doing in there was illegal and immoral, and I needed a police officer there. The treatment that I got at that place, well, they killed a man, that Tiber Hete feller. He was a human being, and they killed him by doing the exact things that they did to me standard procedure. Some of the people who were on that special talking about how terrible the patients are treated. Some of the people who work there who are talking about how terrible the patients were treated. Those very people treated me like shit. Thought it was funny that I was trying to get a police officer there. Then a year later, they're on the news. They get heard. My predators got to be heard on the news talking about what a terrible place it was. Tybor would be alive today if the police had listened, if the media had listened. But he's not. He's a fucking corpse. He's not the only one. When I was being assaulted in the Boulder County Jail in August, I tried telling on the officers that were assaulting me, that were harassing me, that were bullying me. They were doing everything in their power to make my life a living hell. Police across the United States have done this. That's what happens when you're charged with assaulting a police officer. Meanwhile, I was the one who was assaulted. I was the one who was assaulted. When you're homeless, these people are invested in making money off of you. So they simply refused to allow any evidence of any wrongdoing against me in the courtroom. They refused across the board, across the United States, and people are dead. Because the police thought that harassing me, threatening me, and assaulting me was an acceptable thing to do. I have physical and psychological damage that is irreparable. However, I'm still breathing. I am still alive. Demetrius Shankling would still be alive if the Boulder Police Department had done their jobs and gotten rid of those officers. Sorry, the Boulder Sheriff's Department. The Boulder Police Department. They should have never, ever hired Officer Waylon Lolatai. And if they had listened to me, to begin with, instead of treating me like I'm crazy, like I'm mentally ill, Michelle Rodriguez never would have been assaulted by that man. Sammy Leon Lawrence IV never would have been assaulted by that man. You make excuses for the fucking Nazis now. You are my enemy. You are my enemy. You know, when I was a kid, when I was raped in the system, and nobody fucking cared, I was a kid. There was nothing I could do about it. But as an adult, you goddamn right I can. 
I can speak out. Tybor should still be alive. So should Demetrius Shankling. When I was assaulted by the police or by the uh, sheriff's department in the jail, those officers made fun of me repeatedly, threw my food across the floor, refused to give me their names, threw the paperwork that I had away, locked me up on suicide watch. And you know what? As soon as they let me off a of suicide watch, the first thing I tried to do was kill myself. I speak out because the rest of you are too cowardly to do so. But I'm sure that the parents of Dimitri Shankling have something to say. I'm sure that the wife of Tiber Hate has something to say. I'm sure that Teresa Massilia has something to say. Teresa Massilia was raped in Boulder. And uh, the police charged her with assault for fighting off her attacker. Meanwhile, Christy Kelly, or Christine Kelly, was charged with filing a false police report because she didn't fight off her attacker hard enough. Where did this take place? Boulder, Colorado. Where did the situation with Teresa and Macelia take place? Boulder, Colorado. When you try to turn in a police officer for doing wrong, the first thing they try to do is discredit you, either by making you look like a criminal or by making you look insane. Fuck the police. They pulled this bullshit everywhere. Obviously, obviously, the police nationwide have done everything in their power not to look at the evidence. Every time that I have gone in to try to get the police to look at evidence, what do they do? They threaten me, they harass me, they assault me, and they lock me up. And you want me to be nice? Fuck you. These are human lives that these police, you are paying to take. You are paying these police officers to kill human beings. You are paying these police officers to break the law. There are over a dozen people who are dead because the police didn't want to listen to me and made every excuse not to.